Welcome back to another Know Your Nodes Godot Game Engine video. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at tile maps again. This time, we're going to be talking about how to interact with the tile map from your code so that you can query and modify the tile map during the game. In the previous video, we showed how to use the tile map node to set up our map for the, the simple 2D platformer example. We also showed how to do a top-down map. And in this video, we're going to look at how to use GDScript to interact with this map during the game. And here's the tile map node documentation. And you can see there's lots of methods for interacting with the tile map and setting and getting various settings for the individual tiles as well as the tile map as a whole. One of the ones that you're going to use the most or the most often is going to be this world to map method. This lets you convert from screen coordinates in pixels to map coordinates on the tile map grid. So here's our script and what this script is going to do is detect a mouse, left mouse click and display the global mouse position. It's going to look like this. So whenever I click up here it's showing me the pixel coordinates where on the screen I clicked. And what I want to know is what are the tile coordinates on the tile map of that click location. So now to get that tile coordinate we are just going to use the map world to map method and we're going to pass it the mouse pause and that's it so now when we run it we will see when I click up here in the corner that's tile zero zero and anywhere I click on the screen I'm now finding out what my tile position is on the tile map now that we know what tile we've clicked on let's say we want to change the tile that's there so we can use map set cell and then you give it an X and a Y and what tile you want to do. So let's say I do tile number five and what that means is anywhere I click I'm gonna place a tile number five. All right, they're still there. If you want a tile to be removed negative one means no tile at that location so that's how you can remove tiles from the map when you click as well. Now it's also useful, there's a set cell, there's also a set cell V. Set cell V lets you pass a vector instead of individual X and Y's, which means we could just say that, which is a little bit more convenient. Now let's say instead of the mouse, I want to detect which tile the player collides with. Well, on the player's script, if we go over to the player script and we put something like if is colliding print and we're just going to print out get collider get name so you can see what we're colliding with and if we do that you'll see it's printing out map one so what happens is the collision detection doesn't see the individual tiles because they're part of the tile map and because it's more efficient this way, you just collide with the map object wherever you collide. So let's look at how we would do that. On the player, I'm just going to create a signal called hit that's going to emit a position. And then if we do collide, we're just going to emit that hit signal with the collision position. And then over on our main, we're going to connect that signal from the player to a function called collided. And that collided function is just going to print out the world to map, which means it should print out the tile coordinates of our collision. So let's see how that looks. There we go. As I'm moving around, you can see down there at the bottom, it's printing out different tile positions. So now instead of printing out, Let's do a set cell V and take that position, that cell, and set it to negative 1, which means now whenever we hit a tile, we're going to delete it. Now, if you wanted to do something like this, where every time you 
collide with a tile, you change it to a different tile, then you're going to get something like this, which is fine, except you want to be a little careful about this because you're going to run into some issues. For example, when I jump off this way, I'm fine, but if I go this direction, I'm spawning another tile, and that's because the collision position is rounding to the next tile because I'm technically hitting the tile on the side. And that's going to lead to all sorts of problems, especially if you start trying to jump and you're hitting the tile from below, but your collision position is still in the current tile. So you'd need to add some logic there to make sure you don't get stuck in some weird uh, positions like that. So a quick way we could solve that would be just to check what is in the cell before we replace it. So we'll just use map get cell v, and we're going to get this location where we are looking. And if that tile is not e oops, is not equal to negative one then we'll set the cell to 5. And that way we will still change them when we land on them, but we can't change any of the empty tiles into solid ones. All right, I hope this gives you some ideas of how you could use tile maps in your projects. Please post your questions in the comments below. If there's anything you didn't understand, I'll be happy to help you out. In the next video, we're going to do one more look into tile maps and this time to look at a couple of requested topics isometric tile maps and animated tiles thanks as always for watching and i'll see you in the next video